In this Ben 22 video, I'm going to break down the air raid offense. I'm going to start by breaking down my favorite concept in the game, and that is the mesh post. I think the mesh post is probably the best passing concept in all of Madden. I actually think the mesh post is probably the best passing concept in all of football. And in this video, we're going to show you how to run it to its fullest potential out of the Arizona Cardinals offensive playbook. Now, if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe. I upload multiple videos every single day. And I'm feeling a little bit under the weather weather uh, today, so please do me a solid and just kind of give me some grace. Um, and if my voice sounds a little bit hoarse or whatever, but I promise um, this is a really, really good content and really, really good uh, concept that I'm about to break down. So the play we're going to be talking about in this video is the play Curl Wheel. Now the reason that I like Curl Wheel is because of the post route to the right side of the screen. Now mesh routes are actually, um, if we come over here to the spread wide flex formation, you're gonna notice here that it has the actual play mesh. And this is the way that Mike Leach likes to recommend that people run mesh concepts at a two by two spread. It's a really good play. Um, but the problem is if you notice the curl wheel, it doesn't have the mesh, uh, the meshing routes where they drag and they sit in zone and continue to run against man. And so what we're going to do is we're just going to have them continue across regardless of you know what the defense does, and we're just going to try to read it. Okay. So this play, in my personal opinion, is best uh, ran uh, on the left side of the hat or the left hash. The reason that I like to use this on the left hash is because it's going to allow my post route to have more field to be able to work. Um, it can be ran on both hashes, but I do like this uh, to the left hash. So the setup is really simple. We're going to flat the left of screen slot receiver. We're going to drag the left of screen outside receiver, and we're going to drag the right of screen outside receiver. So you, so you can see here a right of screen inside receiver. So you can see here, this is what the player looks like. And at the snap of the ball, our first read is always our post route. If we can hit this post, we're going to hit it. As you can see, if I cut it off right there, I could basically catch that against any coverage in the game. Right there, that was cover four. I'm going to show you cover three. We're going to run the exact same adjustments. And what you're going to notice is against cover three, the drags are going to suck down those yellow zones. And as you can see, we're able to throw uh, this post route. Now, the best coverage, in my opinion, for mesh in the entire game is cover two. Um, that's one of the staple coverages that for verticals, which is our secondary concept we're going to talk about, uh, absolutely crucifies. Uh, but if your opponent is running cover two, let me show you something that you can actually do with this. So let's say they're running, you know, kind of a, a pretty good cover two, if you will. What you're going to notice uh, with this meshing uh, route is you're gonna to look to the post, okay, not there. So we're gonna to look to the drags. Now we did have a drag, but if we wait on this post, you're gonna see we're gonna be able to throw this on the sideline. And as you can take a look there, it's gonna get about 45 to 50 yards uh, down the field. And the reason that that's an advantage for us is because if our opponent is putting their zone drops out and they're trying to uh, you know, kind of keep us from throwing the ball deep down the field, with this in particular post route, you're gonna see that it's gonna consistently get over the top. So again, just pass that to the left. If you have any problems, you can always aggressive catch it and slow to fight another day. Um, the deep half is actually matching it pretty good. Um, and then the next thing I wanna show you about cover two real quick here is that this these meshing routes. So you can see here that even though the mesh routes are very simple, um, they're actually really effective. And if they're, if you're, what it does is it essentially puts your user in a position, in a predicament. Your user has to make a decision. Am I going to use the post or am I going to use the drag? That's basically what the decision is. Okay. So in this example right here, he's going to sit down on the drag. So it gives me a massive window over the top uh, to be able to throw that post. Now the same is true in man coverage. Mesh is actually one of my favorite plays against man coverage in the game, um, specifically against man to man, you know, kind of basic cover to man. Uh, what you're gonna see with this concept is that these double drags are gonna basically kind of pick each other off. And as you can see right there, uh, Scotty Miller, who you know is like a 75 overall player going up against JC Jackson, is able to consistently beat him in man to man coverage. So again, you're gonna look post is covered. Okay, we're gonna look to our drags. We're just gonna take what the defense gives us. Now your post will eventually come open in man to man coverage. So let's say for example, that the user decides, you know what, I'm gonna run with the drag. And so then if you wait on this, and again, we got our life shed away. That is classic. Um, that is literally classic Madden 22 at this point in the season. Um, but if you wait on this, what you're gonna notice is again, very likely that they're going to use one of the two drags. If they stay really low on these drags, this post route will pretty much always get separation over the top, and you have an opportunity for a big play if they don't have safety help. 
So the mesh route literally is something that you can run against any coverage. Um, I haven't shown it against match yet. I am going to show it real quick. This is cover four quarters. Uh, what you're going to notice in cover four quarters, is that again, your meshing routes are always open. So um, it, when in doubt, look to those double drags. Ideally, if you read this correctly, what you're going to do is you're going to go from the post to the quick back route right there. Boom, boom. Then you're looking at the drags and then you're back to the post. And if you're really good with this concept, I would recommend running this for an entire game, literally just spamming this play because it can be ran against any coverage. Force them to adjust. Learn the adjustments they're going to make. But I will tell you right now that if you become really good at reading those double drags, you're going to be very difficult to stop in the air raid offense. Thanks for watching this video. And if you want to learn more about my air raid offense, be sure to check out my Patreon. I'm going to put a link in the description to that. By joining the Patreon, you're going to get immediate access to my air raid offensive ebook, as well as the rest of my men 22 ebooks. We have 13 offensive and defensive guides available for you. As soon as you sign up for the Patreon membership for just 10 bucks a month, you can uh, get access to all of that content. And you don't have to subscribe for longer than one month. Um, you could just subscribe for a month or whatever. It's not a big deal. So be sure to check that out. It's the best way to support me as a small creator. There's a link in the description description below if you want to check out the patreon i would highly recommend it we've got a great defense that we just dropped in there as well out of the san francisco playbook thanks for watching this video and we'll see you guys next time